I then go to analyze and I choose the scan which I just done and so it'll be this one at the bottom done on the 2nd or the 1st of February gosh 1st of February and you just click on it you select it and here it found two hits <laughs> by random and it gives you in brackets the value of the hit now this frequency here which is the same frequency where I paused the generator it gives a value of 88 if you're doing a single scan which is what we do here because generator X is so fast and is so precise you really only need to do a single scan in most cases the number in the brackets is the percentage that the value is above the running average and so here it's 88 percent above the running average and the running average is 20 um, because the uh, the analysis is now retrospectively done it's both before and after the sample point and so this is a is a more precise way of doing biofeedbacks and yes the XM generator is also the same now it's a software improvement um, so it's got two hits and I can do a reverse lookup and there's nothing in those two frequencies again <laughs> okay so we'll close that but this is for using phase angle as a means of biofeedback you can also detect the minimums of the scans so you can detect when the graph is the at the trough instead of the peaks or you can select when it's had the greatest change well if i did the analyze choosing change as the parameter it will still give the same frequencies there we go because it uh, was those uh, frequencies where the greatest change was which, was which was when we had the big glitch <laughs> mm. okay so we've done the biofeedback scan you've seen how fast the scan was that scan covered every single frequency that was ever known by Royal Rife and it covers it in a very precise manner so really you just need to do one scan You've got to be very careful where you place the TENS pads, keep them as close as possible so that the greatest portion of the um, tissue that the signal passes through is the tissue of concern.